Hello everyone, this is Mike from BTR Budget Tech Reviews here, and today's the unboxing and overview of the Moby Cube Ultra HD Streaming Media Player. Alright guys, so I was approached by another Amazon seller, and I'm going to link this item in the description below, actually. And I've never actually had a media streaming player, so uh, for people that do not have a... Smart TV, I guess this would be the alternative if you didn't have it. Let's take a look at the back here really quick, see if I can get that to focus. It says it has an octa-core ARM Cortex-A15-7 processor. It's got a 64-core GPU, 2 gigs of RAM, um, 16 gigs of ROM, which I want to say has, is the internal memory. HDMI support, Wi-Fi, of course. Um, LAN support, which you can just connect it directly to, uh, you know, Cat5 cable, USB connections, and DC ins, uh, which is probably your power, and it's running Android 4.4 out of the box. So, although this is a streaming player, it does have an, it does run Android on it, which I think is very interesting actually. So, let's uh, get this unboxing going, guys. I let's see if I can just cut this without actually tearing it too bad here using my scissors. Okay, the fun part, there you go. I like unboxings, guys. People hate, some people hate unboxings, but I love them, okay? So let's take a look at what's inside. Here it is, the Moby Cube. The Moby Cube, this is a streaming player, and let's take a look at it really quick. Look at the bottom, look at the back here, of course, there you go. There's your Cat5 connection, H USB support, HDMI cable. AV, which is the probably you can connect an audio cable to it. Optical, which I have no clue what that is, and your power source. And let's see what comes out of the box. This, this is, I'm gonna test this out right now for you guys to see what see what it's all about. Let's see what's in the box though. It says, "Welcome to Moby Cube, your one-stop venue to enjoy limitless free online entertainment resource." So, looking at the you know the the little instruction booklets. You can see it has the power source, the remote. You know, it comes with the cables, obviously. Let's take a look. Here's your instruction guide. Just tells you how to get it done. Pretty cool thing, I guess, is that you can connect a keyboard to it, and obviously some remotes as well. But here's the way it looks from the desktop, and this is how we're gonna see it. So let's take a look. App list gives you gives you different options there. Which I think is pretty cool, so let's take a look at what else we have inside the box. Power cord, given. I have no clue what this is, but I'll figure that out, I guess, as we go. And here we go. HDMI cable, and of course, the little remote that goes with it. So, so here we go. Let me get this set up, guys, and, and we'll take a look right now. The Moby Cube has a interface skinned over Android 4.4.1 as you can see here. You have movies, TV, news, sports, and your favorite tab. Now going back, let's see if we can hit the actual app drawer. Here we go, and as you can see here, this looks kind of like what you see in an Android phone or a tablet, but as you can see here, it um, has a different variety of apps already installed. You got BBC News, you have Watch ESPN, uh, your system update app, of course, Showbox, etc. Now, from here, I'm going to go to settings, guys, and from here, you can actually access the Wi Fi. Now, Wi Fi all the way down, you have Bluetooth. This thing actually has Bluetooth, surprisingly, so you can actually connect a, a Bluetooth keyboard and possibly a Bluetooth mouse to this. Um, to this device, which is cool, and it's a Google integrated device, which allows you to add multiple accounts, as you can see over here. Now, if you can go to about the phone, you see that it is running Android 4.4. So, going back to the app drawer, it's going to not change there. You can go to the Play Store and download different apps, just depending. But I've noticed that this particular device doesn't have a lot of apps that are very compatible with it. So. I don't know if it would be worth the, the hefty price tag, but as you can see here, Netflix seems to work fine. Uh, I've streamed a little bit uh, with Netflix, and as you can see here, it gives you the regular list of of movies that you can watch here. And YouTube, 
for whatever reason on this device it does not work when you first turn on the device uh, it gives you an outdated version of YouTube obviously right so when I update it via the Google Play Store it makes it a little more buggy so I don't know if the uh, the hardware is an issue and the, the fact that they need to update the system UI to to work with the new newer version of YouTube but as you can see here I'm actually using the little mouse on the controller uh, since the, this device does come with a controller that you can move around a um, the cursor here and as you can see here I'm just getting endless and endless things of streaming basically and it, I just get that little loading loop the entire time so here I am trying to watch another video on my YouTube channel and as you can see here it's not working very well guys so so take that into consideration that you're not going to get uh, the YouTube app working now I have other apps like uh, the one next to it called pop time and this one seems to work fine I don't know if this is one of those illegal apps that you can watch uh, newer movies on but it definitely works you can watch movies that just came out or you can watch movies that have just recently come out on DVD or blu-ray so quality looks great in my opinion and going from there we go to uh, the other app which is um, Boombox or Boomblox, I forgot what it was called, uh, but it's another movie app that you can watch, here we go, it's Showbox, my bad, so, uh, going from there though, the app doesn't work too well, I mean, I don't really get a lot of things working on this little device, because I feel like the hardware isn't, or the firmware possibly, isn't updated to work with a lot of the newer apps. Now, of course, you know, you can download a lot of other apps on the Play Store, um, once you get it working correctly, once you get logged in, etc. But, but like I said, I don't know if it's you know even worth downloading the the more apps basically. And I don't think you're going to play be able to play games unless they're basic fun function games, such as Temple Run, etc. But I guess the cool thing about this is it does come with an app called uh, Movie Cloud or something like that, and it'll be in the app drawer. And basically, you can watch different channels from different countries, which is kind of weird. I've never encountered that, but um, for the price tag, like I said, don't I don't know if it's worth it. I hope that the people that put this out do update the firmware, because the firmware is not working very good uh, with this. So, um, just so you guys know, this is the Moby Cube, and let me show you guys just a little bit of the outer part before we finish off here. Alright guys, here's your final look. Two USB ports, your power, your HDMI, your other USB port, and your Cat5 connection in the back. So, thank you for watching guys. I hope this video helps you. I'm going to leave the link in the description below. Thank you guys for watching and please subscribe.